All right, guys, Bitcoin has dipped a little and you're probably wondering why that is. Well, we have got an answer. That's right. And that is because Mt. Gox not only has distributed to both Bitcoin and Kraken, but those exchanges have actually started distributing to the um, consumers, which means that those consumers are now selling Bitcoin. The good news is we're only down $1,000. The bad news is there's a lot more distribution to go. Uh, there have been several confirmations from Kraken customers that they've actually got the Mt. Gox distribution. So unlike the last couple of times where we're like, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's actually coming this time. And it's already hit for some of those. Now, uh, Kraken has $3.2 billion to distribute. Bitstamp has $3.2 billion to distribute. And I think Coinbase and some other exchanges have the other $3.2 billion. The Kraken and Bitstamp stuff is gonna all unload in the next week or two. But that does not mean there's gonna be $6 billion of Bitcoin coming out of the market because only a small per, uh, percentage of those people are gonna sell as indicated by recent polls, as indicated by the activity right now. Because going down by only 1,000 points when all of those guys are selling, that's a really, really big win for um, uh, Bitcoin. And of course, there is still the Trump Vance uh, speech at the rally uh, at the Bitcoin conference that's going to rally the price as well. I think there's going to be a big buy the rumor, sell the news moment. But if you are wondering why Bitcoin's taking a bit of a dump today, that's why, because they've actually started distributing to the customers. The customers have all this money. And after 10, 12, 14 years, however long, they're like, ooh, I want to sell for some of that 850% profit. Now, I say 850% when the actual going up is 80, uh, is like 8,500% from when it went down. Why did I say 850%? Because they're not getting all their Bitcoin back. They, uh, Mt. Gox lost something like a million Bitcoin. They're getting roughly 140,000 back. So it's like an eight to one ratio. So realistically, they're up about 1,000% or so, 850 to 1,000%. They still have a lot of profits. Some of them are gonna sell it because you know if I had to wait 10 years and I got 1,000% profits back, especially if that number is big, I'd want to at least sell some. But remember, they've been able to sell for the last 10 years or so. Uh, to sell their rights to holding companies. So a lot of these are going to be holding companies and they're not going to be in a hurry to sell. I think a lot of it's going to come out of the market in the next six months, but that's going to be enough dragged over time for the big companies like BlackRock to actually eat that stuff up. So I do actually believe that it's not going to hurt nearly as bad. And I think right now is kind of like, um, kind of like, evidence of that, that we haven't crashed completely. We'll have to keep track of the next few days, especially after Saturday, after the uh, Bitcoin Nashville ends, after the Trump Vance speech is actually over, after all that pep rally is over, we'll have to see how much it dips and how much BlackRock can actually buy up. And that bridges onto our next section. BlackRock bought $513 million uh, basically yesterday. The one of the largest days outside, like those days in March where they were just buying up like crazy, the largest day was like $800 million, but $513 million is not bad. And that does actually make up for a lot of the pitfall. And that's why we're not really going down so heavily yet. Yes, BlackRock and Larry Fink are actually helping us. And that could mean really good things for the long term future because they're going to be buying a lot. I mean, a whole lot longer than Bitcoin is actually selling. So Mt. Gox has actually distributed 3.2 billion uh, Bitcoin in outflows in just two hours, but that I think is going to Bitstamp. That hasn't completely come out to customers. Kraken took about seven days before they started distributing today. Bitstamp might take the same thing. So two weeks, people, mid-August is where you want to look. And uh, mid-August, maybe third week of August, if they do dump, that might be the low of the market. Um, this local low anyways, I don't think it's actually gonna go below 60K. Let's hope it doesn't. And um, I think people are over predicting it definitely, but give it a couple of weeks, see how it works out. Wait until the Trump Vance thing is over if you have dry powder ready to pounce. So that's why we're going down today. One, a huge DeFi exchange has actually been breached. It's only one version of their exchange. I think right now they're on version five, but version three was actually breached. But version three, since the beginning of the year, did trade over a billion dollars. What I'm talking about is DYDX, and no, that is not the dollar index, that is a DEX. So a few minutes after the potential sell was reported, DYDX version three was compromised. In a warning posting to social media on platform X, users were advised not to visit the DYDX website or click any links until further notice. 
does not look good. Uh, this is just another breach. Could be an inside job, but this, there are already two versions ahead. I don't think this is an inside job. Uh, but you know, it's just not, it's very unsettling that this actually gets breached um, that easily. So yes, they did launch version five in June. All this stuff is fixed in that version four, version five, but not everyone is off version three. So that's why that happened. Also, crypto traders, based on the volume of the Ethereum ETF, Ethereum might be very, very undervalued, folks. Why is Ethereum very, very undervalued? Well, let's actually take a look because the volume of Ethereum in the first 15 minutes was $112 million. And that is pretty close to the Bitcoin volume in the first 15 minutes. And they've actually traded $360 million in the first couple of hours. Yes, in just 90 minutes of trading, $361 million in total in terms of Eric Balchunas. As a group that would rank them about 15th overall uh, in ETF volume, about uh, about what TLT and EEM trade, which is top 1%. But again, compared to normal ETF launch, we which rarely see more than uh, $1 million in one day, all of them have cleared that number and then some. So if you're afraid that the Ethereum ETF would not be popular, it's popular. I think they're actually underestimating the impact of the Ethereum ETF. And Ethereum may be much more undervalued than we originally thought. So get some of that Ethereum. If you want to wait for the Ethereum dump, maybe wait until it gets under 3K. Uh, wait until after this weekend because, you know, the Trump Vance speech thing. If that's over, Bitcoin will dump, Ethereum will dump. Grayscale actually did move a billion dollars to Coinbase of Ethereum, so they might actually dump that. There's no confirmation of that dump, but you can't rule that out. But uh, after that dump is over, I do believe Ethereum over $5,000 within a month and a half, two months, definitely. So that is what you guys need to actually be looking at. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.